I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome when I was about four years old. Asperger's syndrome itself being a form of high-functioning autism that I would say most recognizably affects a person's ability to interact in social situations as well as cue in on nonverbal communication. But because the traits of Asperger's syndrome are part of a wider spectrum of traits that characterize autism, not all traits associated with autism are present in how my brain works. And interestingly enough, a few years ago, I came across a pretty good analogy for how the brain of someone with autism is essentially put together. Think of the traits in the autism spectrum like toppings at a frozen yogurt cafe. Sometimes you can have a little bit of ADHD here, a little bit of math proficiency there, and a lot of anxiety issues thrown in just to mix things up. While people with autism may not have the same toppings in their cups or the same characteristics of autism, the collective toppings do not make the frozen yogurt better or worse. Each person who has autism is as unique and individual as a cup of frozen yogurt can be to the person that made it. And because my experiences at BYU-Idaho, as difficult as they've been, have been something I've had to deal with over the course of my attendance at the university, I wanted to learn from the perspective of other students who have autism to see what their successes and their struggles have been, if anything, just to figure out some way of finding peace and hope amidst my own struggles. And as a way of trying to find that peace that I'm looking for, I decided to start off by reaching out to a current BYUI student who has autism, who I was fortunate enough to find through the university's autism mentoring program. Most of the struggles have been mostly adjusting, but it's also been really great because you have a really great support system that helps you to make that adjustment as a transfer student. And kind of take you with the show you cups. Exactly in what way? Like, what programs have you gone to that helps you be able to adjust? Well, one of the things has been my student board. They're so friendly and so nice. They've taken me in, they've given me responsibilities, and I can always come to them for advice. My experiences with having autism at BYUI were a little challenging. I actually went through, because I have mild Asperger's, I went through college without any help for um, those with disabilities. Um, I was very confident that I didn't need any. However, I had an experience where a teacher uh, mistook my, my many questions that he thought were very basic and simple, and he pulled me out of class and yelled at me. And I was emotionally distraught, and a student brought me to the disability center, which was very embarrassing. And um, that actually happens a lot where some of the, the older teachers don't understand. Um, they think it's an excuse just because you're doing good in the class or have a really good grade. So since my graduation, I'm originally from California, so I was able to, as kind of a postgraduate party, go and see all my friends in California for a few months, and that was amazing. It's so nice to be able to plan your day according to having fun and doing the projects that you enjoy. Um, but now returning to Utah, I am very much career orientated, and so I'm trying to find a job, and I'm also trying to, uh, you know, continue with my church activities mm -hmm. and um, continue being more social than I'm used to being, um, especially in the career I want to go into, which is film. Um, I, you have to network a lot, and so being able to talk with people and to send out resumes and stuff like that has kind of been the next step. And to see how well the advice Michaela gave me compares to what specialists say to help individuals with autism, I met with Rachel Turpin, the coordinator for BYU-Idaho's Autism Mentoring Program, just to understand what help she provides for other students. So I see both academic and social struggles are the kind of the two main areas with academics. Again, they str they are, their strength is working independently, but sometimes working in groups can be really difficult. And managing time and organization of time can be really difficult as well. That's something that I see a lot of students here working on and trying to persevere to be able to overcome those uh, struggles they might face as a, as a result of having autism. So what advice would you have for 
students, teachers, or people generally to be able to help students with autism be able to succeed both in college life, in the workplace, or just in general? Uh, for students, I would, it's so hard to be social, and sometimes you do need your alone time, your me time to be alone, to kind of de-stress from all the stimuli and everything that's going on. It's really hard to feel like someone will accept you for your disability, especially if you're a little more higher on the spectrum, but know that there are people who will love and accept you no matter what. Because I am so religious, what is worked for me is often my on a spiritual basis. Um, forming religious habits like going to church, saying your prayers, and going to um, church groups where you can connect with other people. It's a chance for you to go grow both spiritually and also socially. Just with being able to help people with autism in general, educating yourself is really important. The more education you have, the more knowledge you have, the better you'll be able to inter interact with anyone with autism throughout your life. And since autism is such a prevalent diagnosis, it's really important to have that education. So I recommend everyone in any stage of life, in any circumstances, to just have that education at hand. Knowing that Ayana and Michaela were both able to overcome their challenges and find fulfillment in their time at college, has inspired me to keep working through the struggles I'm facing right now. Honestly, graduation day isn't that far off for me now. The moment that I can finally stand up and receive my diploma, I can mark down as the moment I came to truly know for myself that nothing is impossible for anyone who has an unshakable resolve to achieve their goals.